Hi, this short tutorial will uh, lead you through the steps to using WinRAR. Now, I'm not going to explain what WinRAR is, as it's far better explained on the official website, as can be seen here. Just go to this URL and you can read up all about it. Now, I'm going to take into account that you've already downloaded WinRAR, but if you haven't, just go to Downloads and select the download that you need. Okay, so you've got your first WinRAR test, uh, WinRAR archive, and mine's a test archive. I've named it Test, and it's got a test um, document inside. Now, to extract this, all you have to do is press right click and you've got three options. Extract to test will extract it to a folder called test and inside that folder will be my document. So if I do that, it'll show up with this folder here. And there's the um, document. Okay, and then there's extract here. This will just extract the document. As can be seen here. And then there's one other option, that is extract files. This is a bit more complicated, and it will be covered in the intermediate tutorial. Right, you can also just open up the file, and it will come up with the um, WinRAR, mm, well, the WinRAR console, I guess you could call it. And it will show you all the files that are in the archive. At the moment there's only one, as I've only put one in. Um, there's numerous features at the top, although this is probably not necessary on a beginner, beginner tutorial. Uh, I should probably cover adding files. So, for example, I've got a test file. In fact, I've got two test files. Now, let's say you wanted to add these two files to an archive. What you do is you'd select them both, you'd right click, and you'd go to Add to Archive. And then you can call the archive whatever you want, so I'd call it Test Archive. And you can have RAR or ZIP, so probably won't don't need that. So you can have RAR or ZIP. Now, RAR is more popular, and uh, it's generally better. I prefer using RAR. And you have these options here, but these will also be covered in a different tutorial. Uh, you can leave a comment. Now, this will show up when people open up your archive. So this is a test comment. Now, just press OK, and that will be added to an archive. See so there it is, test archive, or test archive, actually. Now, when you double-click this, you'll see that, that your comment shows up here, and you'll see your files are inside the archive. Now, you can uh, select both of these and just drag them out, and when you drag them out, they will be um, moved to your desktop. So I'll replace the old files, and they've shown up here. And that's about it. Uh, if you need any more information on WinRAR archives, then go to the intermediate tutorial. It covers far more than this. Thank you for listening.